Well, happening today, the U.S. Supreme Court will end its term in just a few hours and final opinions will be said on student loan forgiveness, which will impact over 40 million Americans. Texas Today reporter Meredith Hodge joins me live with more on what is happening up in Washington, D.C. Hey, good morning to you, Meredith. Jasmine, the Supreme Court just struck down affirmative action Thursday. It's a program that would allow colleges to consider race in college admissions. And now it is no more. And that is why going into today, whether to forgive or not forgive student loans is on shaky ground in the Supreme Court in Washington. Now, the Supreme Court will reconvene today at 9 a.m. Central Time. And with a more conservative majority court, Biden's plan for loan forgiveness may be struck down. Now, the plan would erase up to $20,000 in student debt for over 40 million Americans and would cost more than $400 billion for the U.S. The possibility of this passing is again on shaky ground as affirmative action was just struck down on Thursday. The court made clear that you can have a system of affirmative action which allows people to talk about challenges that they have overcome and admits disproportionately people who have overcome challenges. That is not the same as race-based affirmative action. Now, Baylor and UMHB say they've never used race as a basis for admissions, but the University of Texas and SMU will see an impact. Policies may be adopted to try and achieve diversity from this point on. But going back to the big decision that could be made today by the Supreme Court, it is to forgive or not forgive that loan uh, debt that many college students and postgrads owe. If it does go into effect, or does, I apologize, if it doesn't go into effect, student loans will be due in October and interest will be due in September. Live in Temple, I'm Meredith Haas. Back to you.